I'm sure that whatever minor alteration may have occurred will go completely unnoticed. That could be any kid running a time machine. See? My hair is completely different. Now talk. I know you are the one who changed the garage code. And me, Uncle Odo. What's the garage code? Flash. Right. Thanks. Oh no! Oh no! Somebody's stealing the time machine from me! Carl, skying out of the polar hat. Ah, great. We're gonna find some way to play me for this. Stole the time machine. Oh, well, wound no. up. Let's just calm down, take a breather, watch the sunset. But I'm on it. Oh, I barely touch anything. I'm sure that whatever minor alteration may have occurred will go completely unnoticed. That could be any kid running a time machine. See? My hair is completely different. Enough talk. I know you are the one who changed the garage code. And me, Uncle Odo. What's the garage code? Crash. Right. Thanks. Oh, no. Somebody's stealing the time machine! I'll be Carl. Some guy in a bowler hat. Oh, great. We're gonna find some way to blame me for this. And do you wanna know what else isn't funny? The giant ant stole the time machine. We're all wound up. Let's just calm down, take a breather, and watch the sunset. But I'm on over. Carl, I barely touch anything. I'm sure that whatever minor alteration may have occurred will go completely unknown. I could be any kid running a time machine. See? My hair is completely different. Enough talk. I know you are the one who changed the garage code. And me, Uncle Ludo. What's the garage code? Flash. Right. Thanks. Oh no! Carl! Somebody's stealing the time machine! Not me, Carl. Some guy in a bowler hat. Ah, great. We're gonna find some way to blame me for this. And do you wanna know what else isn't funny? Giant ant stole the time machine. We're all wound up. Let's just calm down, take a breather, and watch the sunset. But I'm on it. Oh, yes, 
pleasure we're having. Is there something wrong? Of course, my dear. Wait until you taste it. It's good to get it. Black Red Room, 1920. Oh, yes. That's what we're having. Is there something wrong? Of course, my dear. Wait until you taste it. It's good to get it. Black Red Room, 1920. Oh, yes. That's what we're having. Is there something wrong? Of course, my dear. Wait till you taste it. Excellent vintage. Soft Red Room, 1920. Oh, yes. That's what we're having. Is there something wrong? Of course, my dear. Wait till you taste it. Excellent vintage. Soft Red Room, 1920. Oh, yes. That's what we're having. Is there something wrong? Of course, my dear. Wait till you taste it. Excellent vintage. Soft Red Room, 1920. Oh, yes. That's what we're having. Is there something wrong? Of course, my dear. Wait till you taste it. Excellent vintage. Soft Red Room, 1920. Oh, yes. That's what we're having. Is there something wrong? I barely touched anything. I'm sure that whatever minor alteration may have occurred will go completely unnoticed. I could be any kid running a time machine. See? My hair is completely different. Enough talk. I know you are the one who changed the garage code. And me, Uncle. What's up? What's the garage code? Crash. Right. Thanks. Oh, no. Carl! Somebody's stealing the time machine! Not me, Carl. Some guy in the bowler hat. Ah, great. They're gonna find some way to blame me for this. Right. And do you wanna know what else isn't funny? Giant ants stole the time machine. And you're all wound up. Let's just calm down, take a breather, and watch the sunset. But I'm on it. Apology. All brought to you by Cornelius Robinson. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Yep, my dad. He's an incredibly talented inventor. Some even call him the founder of the That's his motto. You know, Dad could have way more time than he succeeded, but he kept going and never gave up. And neither should you. And that's why you're gonna go back to the science fair and fix your memory schedule. See, your mom isn't the answer to this. It's in the past. Your future is with the memory schedule. Just as I feel, the ship is almost out of fuel. We gotta go back. Soldiers, I don't have time to explain every last detail to you. We need to get this puppy back to my house, pronto. Oh, this is serious. You haven't told anyone. Have you? Great. Now, go to call for the rest. Pretty amazing story, huh? Really makes you think. Have you not been paying attention? You do not remember the motto. Keep moving. So real fair. Leave the white book. What if my dad feel about this time machine? Too short. But may I also point out that you wouldn't have gotten to ride the time machine, and you wouldn't have gotten to see the future, and I've never met you. Sorry, I've got to take this one. And moving along. Passies out to the family. Oh, Mom. Okay, sorry about that. Where? What? You're talking crazy. Really, what you need is a nice white family.
Carl, I barely touched anything. I'm sure that whatever minor alteration may have occurred will go completely unnoticed. I could be any kid running a time machine. See? My hair is completely different. Enough talk. I know you are the one who changed the garage code. And me, Uncle. So, what's the garage code? Flash. Right. Thanks. Oh, no! Carl! Somebody's stealing the time machine! Not me, Carl. Some guy in a... Bowler hat. Oh, great. They're gonna find some way to blame me for this. Right. And do you want to know what else isn't funny? Giant ants stole the time machine. You're all wound up. Let's just calm down, take a breather, and watch the sunset. But I'm on it. Captain Future requesting apology. All brought to you by Cornelius Robinson. Yep, 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 my dad. He's an incredible talented today. Some even call him the founder of the future. That's his motto. You know, Dad filled way more time than he succeeded, but he kept going and never gave up. And neither should you. And that's why you better go back to the science fair and fix your memory scan. Seeing your mom isn't the answer. It's your past. The future is with the memory scan. Just as I feel, the ship is almost out of fuel. We gotta come right away. Soldier, I don't have time to explain every last detail to you. We need to get this puppy back to my house in Toronto. Carl, this is serious. You haven't told anyone. Have you? Great. Story, huh? Really makes it clear. I do not pay attention. I do not remember the motto. Keep moving to one.